tropical cyclone outlook for the western region was updated around 14.10 WST tropical low 21U or invest 97S has formed and was located near 7 decimal 8 degrees south 132 degrees east which is about 500 kilometers north northeast of Darwin is forecast to move generally west southwest over the next few days and at this uh, point in time has a moderate a chance for development into a, a tropical cyclone on the Friday. But it's only a chance of moving into the region. It, however, it has a high risk of being a tropical cyclone from Saturday when it is more likely to be in the western region. Over the weekend, there is a chance the system is close enough to produce a period of gales and heavy rain over coastal parts of the far north and northwestern Kimberley. Early next week, there is potential for the system to approach the Pilbara case, and the Bureau has percentages for today very low. Also, Thursday, then Friday low increasing to high on Saturday. Now here's the uh, latest from the Northern Territory Bureau Meteorology Office for the Northern Region cleaning the Gulf of Carpet area. Tropical air has developed in a monsoon trough over the northern Arafura Sea, about 400 kilometres north of the Coburg Peninsula. The low is expected to move to the southwest on Thursday, passing to the northwest of the Tiwi Islands early on Friday before moving out into the Timor Sea. The environment in the Arafura Sea is not favourable for development but the low may develop into a tropical cyclone by Saturday as it moves into more favourable conditions over the Timor Sea, by which time it will be moving away from the Northern Territory and into the Western region. And percentages, as mentioned, Thursday low increasing to a moderate on Friday and high on uh, Saturday. Uh, a slight difference uh, between the Bureau's Northern Territory and Perth advisories. Now we have a look at some early model tracking on the developing a tropical low. It's a GEFS run. There seems to be a bit of a consensus uh, between the models. Now we have a look at the NOAA floaters on the Invest 97S. Force 13 will continue to bring the latest information either on uh, this channel or the AU channel. Joy Typhoon Warning Centre is about to come on board and as the BUA has mentioned a tropical cyclone likely uh, Saturday and the next name off the list or from the list uh, should be Wallace 
and as the BIA said the environment at this point in time is not friendly for development however upper level divergence has increased at 40 knots wind shear quite a bit of uh, red which is unfavorable 24 hour shear tendency I want to see a little bit more blue and the 850 millibar vorticity and the vorticity is strengthening the tropical cyclone formation probability guide in addition to invest 97s we have a possible area of interest up there in the west pack and a remote possibility in the Solomon Island region however 97s 8 decimal 1 degrees south 132 decimal 5 winds 25 knots and minimum pressure 1003 132 decimal 5 degrees east and we have a look at the 24 hour rainfall outlook across the forecast period which is eight days the rainfall scale is the right hand side of the screen and it's the area in dark blue through to pink and what does one say about that picture and finally in this update here's the latest from the joint typhoon warning center they have upgraded from low to medium invest 97s and the au channel will have a further update thursday morning local time You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name force13 and our Twitter handle, it's at force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add force13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord fool13 at extension 9094.